Hey guys, this is Mac Kids in One. And today is um shell scripting lesson two. Um you should have watched the introduction to shell scripting, which was shell scripting lesson one. Um and it basically explained what shell scripting was to you. So in this video I'm just gonna dive right in and um show you how to shell script. I will be using iTerm as my terminal application. You can use terminal, um, but I prefer to use iTerm. Um, I will be using Mac VIM to edit my um, shell script. You can use um, Nano in Terminal or whatever you would like. Here, here I go. I'm going to be showing you how to shell script. And um, I'm not actually going to be teaching you everything about shell scripting, but a few things in this shell scripting lesson too. So I'm just going to demonstrate this to you um, using my favorite text editor, Mac VIM. Um, so I'm going to be showing you shell scripting. So, you can make a text file however you want. You probably can just cd to your desktop and type nano hi.sh. And then you'll create a file called hi.sh and use nano as your editor. I'm just going to use a separate editor because um, it has a GUI. And for those of you who haven't watched my terminal lessons, it'll be easier for you. So, any shell script we're writing, any shell program that's going to run in the shell, since we're using your shell as a programming language, is hash bang slash bin slash sh. That's just to say run this with sh, which is a shell program. You can change this from sh to bash if you like bash more, but I personally like sh. Like in terminal, if you type sh, then you're in a separate shell. And uh, yeah. But if you if you like bash, you can change that to bash. I'm gonna make it sh. You can also make it zsh, but that's um just pointless kind of. So um, I'm just going to keep on editing this file. So right here in the next line, and shell scripting is all terminal commands. So if you want to um make the shell script first, type um the command. I don't know ls slash. You type that as the first line, and now it now when this runs, first it'll run ls slash. Now say you want to unzip a file. You go to the next line and type unzip space the path of that file. Um, and you can do tilde for their home directory. And then you can go on to the next line. Say before you want to do that unzip, you want to check if this file exists. Because otherwise it wouldn't be cool. This is where if statements come in. So we already know that we can run a command in terminal, like unzip. And we know that also in shell scripts we can run commands on individual lines. But there are a few commands you didn't know about, like if or elif or ifi. So I'll show them to you. So say we want to check if tilde slash desktop exists. What we want to do is type if space left bracket space dash f space and then the path of the file like tilde slash desktop slash high dot zip and then a space and then a close bracket then we want to say then so we do semicolon space then and then we have the code we want under that now at some point we have to say okay this is the end of the if so in order to do that you say fi fi so Right now, this one line of code, unzip tilde desktop slash high dot zip, will only happen if dash f tilde slash desktop slash high dot zip. That means if tilde slash desktop slash high dot zip is a file and it exists, then do these lines of codes between the if and the fee line, and then, yeah. So now, if I add something under this that says rm tilde slash desktop slash high dot zip, this would run no matter what, because it's outside of this fee line right there that's important. So if we just grab this and put it right here, right in but before the fee line, then this right here is inside of this if. So um, that that's cool. So now we've um, successfully set up this thing so if hi.zip exists on your desktop yet. But that's that's kind of useless. So I'm going to be showing you just how to make a defense system that checks if a file has been deleted. So first of all, let's say, and I'm going to be teaching you a few terminal commands with this as well. 
the first line of your code is while space bracket space true space close bracket space do then at the end of the file is done so everything this is a while loop so everything inside of this these th three line th these two lines will keep on going true while while life is true basically so yeah so that's a while loop just to get that um at you guys and so everything between do and done will keep on happening forever because I said while true, do. True is always going to be true. So now this means that this is going to be looping. At the last line inside of this, I'm going to have sleep one. So that way it's not constantly checking. It does a sleep. It does one sleep before continuing in the loop. So on the line before that, I'm going to say if space dash space dash f space tilde slash desktop slash file dot txt so as long as this file exists semicolon space then enter and now I'm gonna type fee on the next line and inside of this if and fee I'm gonna type nothing basically because this is if this file exists so this is gonna be a defense system to see if this file doesn't exist so um, if it does exist I'm just gonna say echo okay now we're going to hit enter, and we're just going to type else, and then hit enter. So this, right here between this if line and this else line, these the lines in between those two lines are going to happen if this file does exist. Else means otherwise to the lines between the else and the fee, which is the end of the if statement. So what we'd want to type here is maybe echo. So now, maybe we'll do say goodbye just for the fun of it and then we'll type on the next line exit and exit exit exits the program forever even if it's inside of a permanent while loop so right here um what's gonna happen is I'm gonna create a file on my desktop called file.txt and while it exists my terminal will keep on printing okay for now once it doesn't exist it's gonna say file is gone exiting then my computer is gonna speak and say goodbye then the script is going to close. So I'm just going to create, I'm going to save this to my desktop as checker.sh. Okay, right there it is. And now I'm going to create a new file. So now we've saved this file in this shell script. So now in order to execute this shell script from our terminal, we just want to type chmod space plus x space in the name of the shell script. And we have to be cd'd to the same directory. So chmod space plus x space, and then you can just drag the shell script in. I highly suggest while you're watching this that you've seen my other terminal lessons. So now this is an executable file. Okay. So this is a good lesson to you guys. I'm going to show you what I did wrong right here while sorry about this earlier while loops are actually um you use parentheses instead of brackets my apologies okay so i messed that up but sorry so um let's just run this again okay it says okay for now okay for now okay for now because this file is here now let's delete this file and watch out File is gone, exit. Goodbye. My computer just said goodbye and it quit. Thank you for watching Mac Kids in One. Um, please subscribe to our videos. Um, we um, appreciate your support and um, it helps us when you subscribe to our videos. And uh, goodbye.